What is going on guys? We're back on another video today and we are of course in our awesome Desperados franchise and it is week 7 and I know we just took a, well if you didn't know, we took a huge injury. Uh, good old McCaffrey is out pretty much until like the end of the season. So running back, the starting running back will be John Ross. Of course we brought back Pumphrey from last week or last year who uh, obviously stepped up big time for us and it's a good thing we did because obviously we took this injury. Uh, also, I did ask you guys if you think we should get a new player, and before we even decide to trade for someone, I figured we'd give John Ross a chance, maybe redeem himself with the fumbling problem, and see if we actually do need a new guy. Of course, we could even be looking for one long term, as McCaffrey's insanely good, but if he's only going to play half the season every year, it's really not going to be worth it. I don't know if he's just unlucky, what's the story, but... We have a lot, the, a lot of things to think about at that running back position. And I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm slurring my words a little bit here and there. I do have like a sore throat and I have a cough drop. So we'll see how that rolls. Uh, Fernando Teal. He needs zone coverage. So if he's not going to get a scheme fit, he might as well go zone anyways. Obi Malafani with a sick individual he is. Gets plus four to man, one to zone. He's got the same man and zone coverage now, which is kind of crazy. Uh, we do have no upgrades on offense. Okay, guess not. We'll take a look at college players after the game, of course. And uh, obviously, there's a bye week, so we'll advance the week. We'll sit on the bye, and then uh, I'll, you know, kind of, we'll evaluate there. So next video, we'll we'll go through week eight, and then week nine, we'll play. Obviously, the Ravens are one and five division rivals. If we win this game, we knock them out. I don't know why the like division rivals are so bad, especially uh, the Steelers in the first half of the season. Last year, they were really bad, and then they turned it around. Of course, they're two and three now, so we'll see how that finishes. Got fireworks and some pretty damn heavy rain, so it's a bad time to be coming off of an injury to go right into a rain game. I really hope that doesn't play any factor. The weather obviously is not good right now, but hey, that's a that's a good opportunity for John Ross with his quick feet to try and uh, take advantage of people's bad angles and. His ability to break tackles. This uh, this could be a huge showing for him. Leonard Fournette, last week, not bad at all. 16 carries, 85 yards, and a touchdown. Speaking of injury-prone players, there he is. We'll see how uh, that turns out. We end up we might end up hurting him. I'm not saying we're trying to, but it's a very big possibility. Josh Allen. So we will get the ball first, so John Ross will have an opportunity right away. I think John Ross might still be on the kick returns. No, it's not. It's Toon. I forgot. I forgot Toon's been returning kicks all year. Same with Henderson. Wanted to be mainly Toon, but Henderson is going to get a return there. Josh Allen. Seen stats. Not bad, of course. We've been throwing a couple of picks lately, so hopefully we can keep that down to a minimum today. It really just comes down to uh, how well the ball is actually going to go through the air with a bit of wind and... A slippery surface. And that's a wide open play. Evan Ingram. Oh, wow. He actually got caught there. Evan Ingram kind of being utilized less and less each week. I'm actually going to hurry up to the line here and see. Interesting look. Definitely looks like a run. So that could work out pretty well for us. Kasiki to the outside. A lot of quick throws at the tight end so far. But hey, that's sometimes what it takes. As long as it goes into the right player's hands, that's all that matters to me. Like, there's been some opportunities to really get some yards. And there's some yard opportunities right there. And Cooks is gone. Oh, huge hit, though. I don't even know who that is. Is that Carl Joseph? Kind of seems like it is. Inside, Ross is going to get his first carry of the game. It's going to kind of fall forward. It really wasn't much for him to get there. He got a lot more than I thought he would. Look at the Ravens defense. Trent Murphy, DJ Reader, Brooks Reed. Brooks Reed probably needs an up or a replacement. Ture, they actually moved him outside. Judon, not bad linebacker core. And then DBs are actually really solid. Second and seven, John Ross could outrun the linebackers here. And look at the spin. Look at the cut. John Ross is elusive. Been going pretty damn short when we're throwing. And that probably will continue here. Evan Ingram looking primed to get the first down. And more than that, oh, unfortunately, Cooks can't get the block. And we all know... Tight ends, if they're not going to truck, they're definitely not going to break a tackle. And Evans really not built the truck. Pumphrey's in the backfield, but probably will not get a look. Barely beats him, and Burgess holds on. Xavier Rhodes is actually pretty damn tight on him there, considering the speed difference. Like, last season, the Ravens weren't very good, if I'm not mistaken. This season, they obviously aren't. So hopefully they uh, 
They do their research next time, and we miss Leonard Fournette. Huge gainer for 10. Fair to the Ravens at this point. They could have had a bye as well, so... I don't know. Leonard Fournette's having a great season, though. Inside, wide open. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And, okay, that's unfortunate because the strong safety that was in was the rookie we drafted who is extremely slow. Goodwin, we know, is the opposite of that. He's very fast. And that was just that was just bad by me. I made a mistake with Malik, and then, obviously, after that, the safety was way out of position for his speed. I thought I could have hit sticked him, and I missed. John Ross... This run really hasn't gone for that much. But John obviously gets a lot better, better blocks than normal there. Chark can hold the block. He might be able to get something. Chark does hold the block nicely, too. Cooks gains about 20. They've come close, but so far offense has been a pretty much a breeze. And ironically, as I say that, their DT comes in untouched. Underneath, I pro Oh, he made a mistake, and Cooks gets a block. Chark scores. I was just about to say I really should have taken Cooks, but Cooks, I don't know who that linebacker was, but almost similar to our safety debacle over in the last drive on defense, just made a terrible jump. He just jumped the ball as the ball was already coming. Should have waited. He, he, was, he wasn't close enough, and he also wasn't far, far enough, so he should have waited for it. Should have had it. Bad timing. They're probably going to run. They do not, and he's in trouble. Play action is not going to work very well on a man blitz. Just going to go out on a limb and assume that. They aren't going to run it. To the outside, he actually may have converted that. And there goes the tight end again. Edmonds getting burned. Could be a run with Fournette. It is not, but even if it was, we're stuck on the line. And there goes Goddard again. This feels like a run. Like, it's got to be a run one of these times. Like, they got to be heavy runners. And he drops it. Okay, I thought I had a pick with Edmonds, and we just somehow didn't come up with it. That's the first incompletion. It's got to be a run this time. Bring up the whole damn team. Oh, my Lord, look at the big boy. They can't get off the line and to the outside. Guess who? Goddard, and he's not done. If Edmonds would have given up on the play, Goddard would have scored. He's insane. He's a freak. And honestly, the way we play, this is almost perfect for them. Uh-oh. Oh, thank God for Chris Jones. And like we were mentioning earlier, Leonard Fournette is injured. They're not going to run it with him. Over the middle, guess who? Linebackers cannot cover this man. Got an interesting build. And slips right off of Malik Hooker, and they have tied the game right back up. All right, see who's open. I don't like it. I don't like it. I had Evan. I don't like it. Throw it away. Throw it away. No, that's my fault. I ran back like 56 yards. I didn't like the plays. Damn it. And guess who? Ross. No, what happened? What just happened? Was that on Ross? It was like an over the back. It was like over the shoulder. If they get locked up. There goes Chris Jones. Guess who? No, it's not. It's Kyle Juice check. All white people look the same. What? Divide Goddard's number by two. And guess who? It's the Juice check. Is Miles Garrett playing against another big player? Uh oh, oh my lord, Amos is a tank. Oh, guess who? Oh my god. Oh Jesus. This is actually wild. Oh great, now they got two tight ends in. Couldn't stop the first one. Oh. Oh no, there goes the running back. Really good tackle by Edmonds there. Muscle cramps. Uh oh, there goes Parker. There goes Parker, and that's a first down, and that's easily going to be a touchdown. You got to run it in the first play, and they don't. And, wow, Edmonds. Now, this one is guaranteed. Um, no. It's guaranteed to be a run this time. No, it's not. Still not. And it was a tight end. Who scores? <laughs> oh, my God. The Ravens literally just threw two back-to-back -back passes. To the outside, there goes good old Evan Ingram. I should have taken it. I have him, but I just can't trust it. And, of course, I say I can't trust it, but as I say that, he completely burns him. To the outside, perfect play. They're giving way too much cushion on Shark. And I think they get ball in half. I'm pretty damn sure. A thousand percent sure they do. And there goes Cooks. And there's a flag, and Cooks falls in for a touchdown. That's probably going to be a hold. He did hit us late, though, so you never know. Pass interference. Pass interference. Offense. The sicky is wide open. Run him over. Pretty damn close. That's a first down. Give it to us.
All right, we got third and goal. Oh, that's risky. I mean, that's an interesting catch, but yeah, I had to throw that quickly. They had uh, pressure all over. We'll take our field goal. We we'll started the second half, definitely uh, giving us a run for our money. We're not used to it. Fournette could be in at the fourth quarter. This, I mean, it says he would be. Oh, my Lord. And he's gone. Look at him go. Oh, my gee. Just one false step. And Ludacris will take you down. Like, Oh, there's no way. Davenport's a tank. Nelson Aguilar would have died. He would have got hit so hard he would have became his year one self again. Third and one, we got to run a man blitz. There's just no other option. If you're not running a man blitz, who the hell are you? You know, like, what's even the point? And there goes Davenport. Ooh, that was a close call. Almost a face mask. The wind is a bit of an issue, so I'm not sure how this one's going to play out. They're going to go for the field goal, but this could be tough. You do not, and he misses. That's great field position. Rosas misses. Oh, what a ball. Cooks is going to score. How the hell? Like, he basically just like backyard football that he casually drops back. Don't even know if he had laces or not and just delivered a bomb. It's a huge point in the game. It's midfield. Obviously, one first down doesn't, doesn't guarantee points, but it puts a very good percentage, I would say, on it. Can we stop Goddard? That's a decent one. And Amos maybe could have had the pick, but smartly plays it safe. Winston, who started like 9 for 10, has now dropped to 11 for 18. It would have been a very risky play, and I think overall the smart decision. I want to run the ball, but they keep dropping everyone down. There goes John Ross, the opposite side. Gets the first down. Look how fast he is. He's so good. You can't compare Ross to McCaffrey. That's just crazy. Inside. That's a perfect throw. Normally, it's a little high, and he has a chance to get hit, but that one, he just drove into it. All right, John. Oh, look. It slips underneath, and that was smooth as hell. John Ross. I'm just going to outrun him. Oh, most. Wow. And there's a perfect throw to Chark, who tries the hurdle and gets destroyed by Carl Joseph. The fullback is kind of, you know, a couple of passes, a couple of hard ones too, making some decent plays. See if he can power through. Offensive the line's probably not going to give him much help. And he had a chance down to the one. A big fella. I'm surprised he didn't just force his way through. Right back to the fullback, who this time falls in. So to the fourth quarter, we got a lot of DBs in, and that's just because I expect them to keep going with the passing plays. And he's nowhere to go except for who else but Goddard, who's probably at like 140 yards as a tight end. Good win. He should be able to press him. And he's in trouble. And I did not mean to. I'm so sorry, Davenport. I think they would have combined for like a half each. But still, I dove out of the way on accident. I actually tried to dive for him, which would have given him the sack over Miles Garrett. But obviously, that's not how it went, did it? And that's a perfect throw, and Obi misses the tackle. I don't even know why Obi didn't go for the hit stick. He should have. He just didn't. Got to give it to the Ravens, man. They know how to take care of the football. I don't even think they've turned the ball over once this game. That's, like, impossible for the AI to do. Uh-oh. And that's a tackle and a half by Shazier. Just lays out. Parker having a great game. Fournette, I mean, you would have thought he returned by now, so the fact that he hasn't probably means... They like what they see from their team, and they don't want to risk it. There's just no point. I mean, they're a 1-5 in five team. Obviously, this is an important game. Oh, never mind. There he is, and he's going to score. Forget everything I've said. There's the man himself. Wow, that's epic. So nothing's guaranteed. Even though we're having a really good game, so are they. Defense has pretty much let them walk down the field on us. And obviously, our offense is doing good, but they're just as good. It's the smart move, you know, try to limit our running a little bit until Ross is more in tune. And look at that. Ross kind of taking a couple of hits, doing well. And I tried to throw to Bo, and for some reason we just hold on to it, and the DT comes screaming through the middle. We'll see if it actually works out, though. They could read it. They don't read it. John Ross gets the blocks, and John's gone. There goes John. Good gainer. Good spin-cut combo. Josh Allen goes over 300 on the game with three touchdowns. Going to run a counter. Hopefully the linebackers just blitz on the inside. Damn it. 
Inside spin. John cannot get past Blake Martinez. And this is a huge third and one. That would be Rickard. Actually, it could have been our fullback. And there goes Rickard. Easy first down. He, I can kind of see why he fumbles. Though. You see the way he just holds the ball out super hard, far like that. And I will. A little delayed in fairness. We only gain about three. Blake has been all over anything to do with the, the passes to the, the backs. Just going to look for the first down. And there it is. Hits the throw. Blake was all over it. Chark falls forward down to the four. Huge yards after the catch play there. Bo Scarborough to the outside. Has the look. Bo is going to go. And I know it's a little bit of a lackluster ending, but that was an insane drive. They're playing games. Everybody's getting touchdowns today. Players that normally wouldn't get involved are getting involved. So once again, it seems, you know, it seemed kind of like we were going to win the game guaranteed. But here they are, midfield. Third and 12, obviously four down territory. So even, honestly, I'd maybe even debate running the ball here if I was them. Thought I had the bait. And there goes Davenport. That's kind of why I was thinking maybe he should uh, run it there. Because now fourth and 20, that is that is rough. I don't think they can get this. If Goddard gets this, I swear. And look at Chris Jones. Chris Jones just blows through the guard. Fournette doesn't see it. Chris Jones just came up with a huge one. So we win the game 41-28. to 28. It was obviously a really close, good matchup. But in the second half, I think we limited them to, what, only seven points? So, yeah, we I mean, we did really well uh, to kind of make the comeback there. They played an amazing game, probably one of the best we've seen all season from the AI. And obviously, we just played a little bit better. We were pretty much almost perfect on offense specifically. There was no turnovers. I'm surprised John Ross didn't fumble. I mean, he came up with almost 100 yards rushing. Bo Scarborough had a touchdown. Patrick Richard had a touchdown. Rickard, whatever you want to call him. Winston and the Ravens are going to go home with another loss, but it was a good, you know, it wasn't a win, but it was a good team effort. You know, he played really well, better than most of the quarterbacks we play. Ross, over 100 yards. Bo finished negative because of all the, the last second runs there. Uh, it was a good game, though. I'm pretty happy with it. Chark, over 100. Goddard, 132 yards. Evan Ingram, 6 for 64. Cooks, 3 for 97. A lot of people got involved. Uh, Ross with another 150-ish yard game. A lot of guys got some sacks. No picks, of course. And Rosas did miss the kick, which definitely played a little bit of a factor. I don't know if it would have actually changed the game itself because they did kind of struggle to even get into the red zone late. But still, uh, we will advance a week once. Maybe we'll get uh, an upgrade. Well, actually, first we'll take a look at scouting. So I say it's probably safe to say we're not going to get rid of John Ross. However, you never know with Christian McCaffrey. So at least Ross, you can go back to wide receiver. McCaffrey, or you can just play, even play number two to catch the ball. And he's been a good relief player anyways, but McCaffrey, man, those injuries. I don't know if we can keep just turning a blind eye to them, you know? Just kind of like Fournette in real life. You know, It comes down to injuries. If you can't play, we, I mean, how, how do we play you? You know, how do we... How do we keep you on the roster and pay you tons of money if you can't even play full seasons? DJ Chark, upgrade. One speed for DJ. 95 speed now. How is that even fair? Defensive upgrade. Shazier's got one. Ryan Shazier. We need pass uh, coverage. I don't care about scheme fit anyways. Does he get anything? Strength, man coverage, zone. Not bad. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any suggestions who should we should trade for, let me know in the comment section below. I have a few names in mind, a couple guys that I'd really like to use and a couple guys that just haven't used at all this year. So let me know in the comment section. Uh, maybe we'd be play we'd play this game before I'd be able to even see it, but I'm not sure. But I think we might trade for someone. But I don't know. I do like Ross anyway. So let me know. Should we keep Ross as the starter with Bo Scarborough and Pumphrey as the backups? Or should we go for someone new and maybe even just get rid of McCaffrey in general? Love McCaffrey so much, but that injury. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe subscribe if you're new. Like and comment. I do like the comments. And uh, yeah, maybe follow me on Twitter. Don't be care. Hope you come back for the next video. But until next video.